Yo, what's up, it's Zavi. I'ma show you how I made the beat for my song, Down and Out. Let's get to it. Shit, I know you from the bottom, shit, I'm from the toe. But if you tryna stay here, then my nigga, I can't fuck with you. I was down and out, they didn't help me out. Um, I produced this, the beat and all that. Um, hell yeah, so let's start. So, first, this the project file. This isn't the final file. This, this isn't the mixed version. But this is the one with the VSTs and the instruments and all that. I usually bounce everything out to waves so I can mix it and save, you know, computer space. But y'all need to know that. It all started off with this melody right here. It's an Omnisphere piano. You probably heard this shit before. If you make beats and you got Omnisphere, you probably used it before. But this is it. solo this right here so that right there that's that piano that's the main foundation of the whole beat right and then after that we got this right here it's a choir same from Omnisphere goes like this hey. and I just like it gives it like a I don't know like a holy feel like I don't know on some I don't even know how to explain it but it just gives me like a holy just I don't know bigger than life feeling together they sound like this That's how they sound that's how they sound together um, and then after that I had a bell this bell just adds that that oomph you know what I'm saying it just adds some I don't know a sense of just like a punch a punch you know what I'm saying look yeah so that's it um, that's the main melodies. I wouldn't even consider that bell a melody, but it's like an accent. Some might say it's percussion, which it probably is, but yeah. After that, let's go to the percussion. Let's go start off with the clap, because that's usually what I do. So, I think I just had a regular clap. I layered it. Give it a more thicker feel. Layer the clap. And by the way, I didn't show it, but these are the notes for that choir. It's just the same as the other melody. Um, after that, I think this is the open hi hat. Yeah. Yep, open hi hat. You know basics. It's a very simple, very simple beat. This is before my beats got real complicated. You know what I'm saying? I miss these days, but simple two-step, goddamn, this is simple as beat, I did not, I made this song a long time ago, not that long ago, but yeah, but together with the two-step, I didn't even adjust the volumes, look at that shit, see right now if I do a two-step, I have some like up, down, up, down, just to give it some type of, you know what I'm saying, more of a, a rhythm, you know what I'm saying, but That's it. And then we got the last thing in the percussion. This is this little bell that is panned off to the left. It's panned off to the left. Um, and it just hits every couple of bars. Very simple triangle. Right? And then 808. 808 simple. Some people have told me that I should have had more complicated variation with the eight, with the 808. But let me. I'm about to play it with the percussion.
Yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole percussion with the bass. And then that's the whole song, really. I'm about to play everything together. Without my vocals. Yeah. very simple I'm about to do what I do always I'm about to just uh, I'm about to just slowly drag everything in you know what I'm saying um, I'm gonna mute everything and just slowly bring everything in okay simple it got like what 10 so 10 sounds probably not even one two three four five six seven eight and then my voice nine nine sounds yeah um that's the whole beat but since i'm i'm feeling a little good i'm gonna show you a little bit of the mixing technique so let me switch to that project right here all right all right so i'm here in the the project file where I mixed everything and my mixes is very simple but um I believe they're really good quality for the equipment I recorded this song on a Rode NT1A on a Focusrite solo or some shit like that or uh it might have been a Focusrite solo or this shit right here the M Audio inbox I think this shit like forty dollars so I recorded this on a Rode NT1A and one of the cheap budget audio interfaces um yeah so i think it's real good quality for that i'm not gonna go into every single mixing choice but i'm gonna go into a couple of the decisions that i think give it a little bit of edge so first we got the melodies right let me um What I did was um, that bell. I noticed that when all the melodies are together, that bell, that um, where is it? Is this it right here? Yeah. When that bell plays with all these melodies, it kind of get drowned out, especially when my voice is there, the bass, the clap, and all that. So what I did was I added track spacer that is listening for the bell and it dips when the bell hits so watch right right so it's kind of like the melodies move out the way when the bell hits you get what i'm saying um and it's just subtle and i low past it so it's not all over the place um usually i would add a track spacer with the vocals looking out for the vocals so the vocals could be more in there but i ain't gonna lie i forgot and it, it sounded good without it so i was like why add it you know what i'm saying um so yeah it gives the bell a little bit more room and it hits harder because it's not being drowned out um another thing i did was uh i think this is the kick not the kick the 808 one thing I noticed is sometimes the kick and the low frequencies of the voice, I don't know, they just kind of clash sometimes. I usually do a low cut on my voice around like, let's see, this is about 190 on the low cut, but the kick 
has frequencies over here. You get what I'm saying? So what I did was, um, I got this. I got Track Spacer, my favorite, one of my favorite plugins. But I got Track Spacer on the the base dipping around 300. So when the look, when the voice is playing, when my voice is playing, the bass after 300 will start dipping. Right, so I'm not losing that kick, I'm not losing that punch, I'm just losing a little bit of these frequencies. So, and that's what it's all about. Had to go and figure out why these niggas fade, why these niggas creep around. I'm gonna get so I'm still getting that punch and all that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, um, did I use track space or anything else? Oh, and yeah, so I've been doing those for a little bit, not that long. I just got track space a couple months ago, but this is one of the craziest ones. I noticed that after mixing and mastering, right, my um the snare or the clap just it just drowns out. It's not as impactful, right? So what I started doing was I find where the the meat of the clapper snare is where it hits the hardest and I add track space around my voice so where when the clap hits my voice ducks down a little bit. So the clap stays when it hits, it's front and center. You get what I'm saying? So it's like voice, 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 clap. Voice, 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 clap. You get what I'm saying? So listen to this. So yeah, you'll see it. And it doesn't really, it's not really, if you turn it up too much, it's going to be like noticeable to where you can really hear it, it ducking, but it's not really, look. Dude, you gonna keep on riding, I made a plan. He ain't had no bands, but I told him something. But they didn't listen when my diamonds glisten. I won't tell them nothing. And that's what it's all about. Right. I'm gonna, let me mute that bass. They go and figure out why these niggas fade, why these niggas creep around. And it's kind of like, I low passed it and all that, so it's not taking the whole frequency. But yeah, you, if you don't have this plugin, you missing out on a lot of different shit. It's, it's just you got to be creative about this shit. But yeah, I think those are the main mixing choices that I was just like, whoa. You know, I don't think a lot of people are doing that, but shit. A lot of people might be doing it and I'm just slow, but shit. Hell yeah. Um, that's basically all I really wanted to go over. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. That was the beat explanation and a small little insight on the mix and the master so hell yeah pfz be listen to the song down and out out now let's get to it peace yeah